So abdominal aortic aneurysms are a pretty common problem. They're most common in men, but it can also occur in women. They're more likely to occur in people who smoke cigarettes, people who have high blood pressure, but they can occur in just about anybody. Some people have family history of aneurysm that prompts them to get checked. Oftentimes we don't know about aneurysms until people get screened. So we recommend that everyone, uh, particularly men over the age of 65 who have ever smoked cigarettes, get screened for aneurysms. That's a simple ultrasound that your primary care doctor can order for you. Um, typically we see the aneurysms pretty well with ultrasound and if you have a normal aorta then it's not something you ever need to be checked for again. So if you go and get your ultrasound that your primary care doctor orders and we find that you have an aneurysm, the treatment of that really depends on the size of the aneurysm. So an aneurysm is a swelling of an artery. Typically our arteries, the main artery, the aorta in the belly, it's about an inch across. And if it gets to twice that size, then that puts you at some risk of having that artery rupture or pop. That obviously is to be avoided. <laughs> um, we don't want to see you with a ruptured aneurysm. We want to find that before it happens and before it causes a problem. So sometimes if the size is smaller, we recommend that you just follow up with us every so often in the office and we keep a check on it. But if the size is getting big enough that it puts you at risk for rupture, then we would recommend repair. And fortunately, most of the time, we can do that in a minimally invasive way. So surgery to repair an aneurysm in a minimally invasive way, we do in the operating room, area much like this. Um, most folks are able to go to sleep under general anesthesia for that type of procedure so that you don't have to remember anything or feel anything that happens during surgery. Oftentimes we're able to do that with just a tiny puncture in the arteries in your groin. Sometimes you get a smaller incision, um, but from there we're watching with live video x-ray um, to see exactly where we're working, to line up a very specialized type of stent that's measured and customized for you inside the artery to seal off that aneurysm or the weakened part of the artery that puts you at risk for rupture. After surgery, you spend the night in the hospital and just about everybody's able to go home the next day. And fortunately, once we put that device in there, the aneurysm is sealed. Now, we keep a watch on it forever and ever to make sure that everything is stable from a repair standpoint, but it's a nice minimally invasive surgery that really takes care of the problem with a night in the hospital. So if you or anyone you love has risk factors for having an aneurysm, men over the age of 65, people who smoke now or have ever smoked cigarettes, um, women who have a family history of aneurysm or a smoking history, ought to be checked for an aneurysm because it's not something that you know about without checking. That's as easy as asking your primary care doctor to order an ultrasound and then we know with pretty good certainty whether or not you have an aneurysm that would need to be fixed or followed.